urban air pollution is nothing new, with records of smog being recorded in London stretching back to the 1950s, with the burning of coal for heating identified as the main cause. The use of coal for heating is now rare. However, urban air pollution is still an issue in many major cities around the world. Vehicle exhausts are often highlighted as the primary cause of city pollution. However, this is not the whole story. Secondary pollutants can also result from sunlight acting on nitrous oxides and volatile organic compounds. For example, Los Angeles smog contains particles comprising of metal oxides, nitric acid, peroxyacetyl nitrate, dissolved VOCs and semi-VOCs. Needless to say, the presence of these gases can be harmful even at low levels. Many cities now continually monitor gases and particles from carefully chosen locations. Levels are constantly changing, as there are many factors that can affect pollution levels, including levels of traffic, ambient temperature, pressure and moisture, wind and sunlight. As we learn more about these pollutants and their harmful effect, legislation will inevitably tighten. Various measures can be taken to improve urban air quality, but for this to happen, it needs to be carefully monitored first. To find out more, download your free copy of our guide via the link in the description below. And remember to subscribe if you liked this video and would like to see more.